Good morning, Penn State. I'm Matt Livingston here with your Campus Weather Service forecast for November 19th, 2013. And for this week's headlines that we're looking ahead at, cold weather makes a comeback. That's right, the temperatures we had over the weekend up in the 60s are gone and we're back in to more seasonable temperatures um, for the rest of the week. However, we will be seeing some clearing conditions as opposed to the clouds and the rain that we have been seeing. However, it could definitely make a return for the game, so uh, you might want to tune in for that. It's going to be a big forecast. Right now, a uh, live shot of Mount Nittany. As you can barely see the silhouette of the mountain in the background, um, the sun is just coming up now. We have a lot of low clouds in the area over State College, keeping us rather warm, actually. We're around 37 degrees right now. However, the temperature, uh, the wind chill factor, excuse me, is 27 degrees. That's due to a very strong northwest wind we have right now. Um, dew point around 23. Visibility is 10 miles. However, remember, we do have those low clouds in the area. Uh, for temperatures right now, pretty standard above freezing. Uh, Stormstown at 34, Bullsburg 36. Uh, Dubois is the low point in the area right now up at 33. Clear field at around 34. Uh, if we go like, like live shot around Pennsylvania, we have Johnstown's our low point at 29, which is not surprising at all. And then as we move out, we have our high point over here in Philadelphia. Uh, State College sitting somewhere around the middle, around 37, Erie as well at around 37. So pretty standard day, a little bit warmer than we're going to be seeing because we had the clouds around tonight. But as it clears out, we'll see tomorrow night and tonight get much colder. The other story we have right now is wind gusts in the area. As you can see, State College reporting around 28, Erie at 21, uh, Johnstown and Pittsburgh both reporting 24. And if we come out here to the western portion of the state, Allentown at 28, Philadelphia at 22 as well. Um, those are going to diminish as we go on today, as you can see from this RPM model. As you can see, wind gusts kind of move out with the clouds um, to our east, and we're going to see a diminishing in the wind gusts to the point where tonight they're basically negligible. Um, as the winds become light and variable and the gusts are the only thing you're going to be feeling. So um, that's good news at least for the wind chill factor. How, and uh, if we look at the RPM itself and the actual operational model, we can see that there's no more clouds in the forecast for later today um, into Wednesday and we uh, don't expect that wind to be generating that lake effect precipitation that it did uh, last night. But um, as we move in towards Thursday, we can see more clouds start to build. We can see another system move in. And this is going to be the one that we're worried about for game day, which most likely looks like it's going to cause some kind of precipitation for the game. Um, how much and when is still up in the air. But uh, as you can see, it starts to make its way over Friday at 2.30 as it builds in um, into Ohio and Indiana. For today, we're going to be see uh, relatively cold temperatures to what we have been seeing. Uh, breezy conditions a little bit early, but they should be gone by the later day. Uh, looks like temperature again today will be around 44 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Again, clearing throughout the day. So tonight we're going to see a mostly clear sky, although in the morning we're definitely going to see some clouds. Winds out of the west around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Again, those will die out as the day moves forward. For tonight, again, without another class to keep the heat in, we're definitely going to be getting cold, somewhere around 24 degrees tonight. So be sure to wear your winter coat. The wind, however, will die out and the skies will clear. Wind's basically negligible at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So the wind chill factor shouldn't be an issue, but the actual temperature itself will be much colder. So as we move out here to look at the seven day forecast, as you can see, uh, Tuesday, today, we have windy during the morning. However, it will clear with a high of 44 and a low overnight of around 24. Remember, that wind is going to die out by the end of the day today. For Wednesday, we see mostly sunny skies, basically the same story, uh, minus the wind, 45 degrees for the high, 26 for the low. For Thursday, we will be seeing a mix of sun and clouds as that system makes its approach, high of 46 and a low overnight of around 27. For Friday, we'll see some scattered showers uh, with a high of 50 degrees and low overnight of 34. However, I don't expect too much in the way of precipitation this Friday. It'll be moving in later in the day. Saturday is the real concern for us. That would be the Nebraska game. Um, we are expecting cloudy skies with showers in the area. Um, here's hoping that it stays away, but I think we're definitely going to be dealing with some precip for Nebraska. And for Sunday, should be clearing out mostly cloudy skies uh, with a high of only 34. And for Monday, again, um, probably some clouds in the area with a high of around 36. I'm Kemp's Weather Service Meteorologist Matt Livingston, and have a great day at Penn State. <music>